fact, I will start that recording now. I'd rather do it slow than I, I'd rather do it right and slow than wrong and fast. I can do it wrong and slow. <laughs> I know you can. <laughs> <laughs> and now that we have a cold opening. Here we are, once again, this is, is, you've, no, I'm not going to do that voice again. This is Evil Guacamole Gaming. I am the Devil's Advocado, and I am joined by the oh-so-talented Maggie, who has a cat on her desk who might at times interfere with my playing this game, but he's too cute to move. Yeah. So anyway. He's probably not loud enough to be a sensor, though. <laughs> no. He, he only talks when I get home from work and it's soft food time and he wants his soft food. <laughs> and then he goes, meow, meow, meow. Meow. The look he's giving me right now. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> How don't, dare don't you, you say that about my like mother? That. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew your mother. It's true. <laughs> I, did, I didn't really know his mother. I just saw her in passing before I uh. picked him up out of the street. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> last time on Asago Academy, somebody was going bump in the night. I have a feeling I know who. I know I know who, because we're <laughs> still... You're ruining the magic. Still not blind. I mean, <laughs> we're still blind. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> so... <clears throat> anyway... <laughs> Okay. Um, so last <clears throat> line was. Ugh, like what's that noise? Stop it, please. <laughs> Ugh, I'm coming. Is my in the bunk with her or? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Who on earth <clears throat> would do this so early? So early in the morning, in fact, it wasn't even light out. I quietly padded over to the door. Mai shifted in her bed. What? It's about time! <laughs> I am so glad to bring Joshua Lena back. <laughs> I... This is a guilty pleasure. Like... The recording was excellent of this, but I'm like, nah, I'm recording this again. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Who? Oh, honey. <coughs> he, she pushed past me and swept into the room, flipping on the light switch. Paul and Nick followed after him. Uh, <clears throat> uh, honey, I feel just... Terrible for ruining your uniform. Sincerely, we owe you an apology and a clean uniform. I'm not so good at that kind of thing, so I brought a friend to help me. Josh pulled open my drawer and tossed out clothes left and right. Oh my god, stop! That's my underwear! What's wrong with you? I ran to him and grabbed his arm trying to pull him away. These panties are so cute! They're perfect for you! Uh, get away <laughs> from there! Also, I just realized where the Joshua Lena voice comes from. It is definitely James from Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> when when James is Whenever like trying to be a girl to be a anytime. Girl, yeah. Gotcha. Like, so cute! Uh, where's your uniform? I ducked below Josh and pulled open a drawer, pulling out the sticky fabric. Here, take it. I threw it at Josh's face, but he caught it with ease. This is no problem. I promise I'll have this cleaned in no time. Girls. <laughs> he snapped. Follow me! 
Paul, Nick, and Josh slept from my room, but they didn't he head towards the hall exit. Instead, they turned left, heading deeper into the dormitory. I didn't have a good feeling about this. I stepped into my slippers and ran into the hallway, just in time to see the door to the girls' bathroom close. Oh, no. Ah! What are you doing in here? This... My friends, is what the conservatives are afraid of. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I sprinted to the bathroom door, but before I could get there, Paul and Nick slammed into the wall across from the door. Men like you are the worst! Whoa! No, oh. oh. no, this is just a misunderstanding. Please! Also, what are you. Why are you up at 4 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> in uniform. I'm sure it was. No, Mimi, it really was. Wait a second. Where's the other uh, person who was with them? She was doing something with the uniform and the sink. Mimi tossed her head with a sniff and headed back into the bathroom. She actually thinks Josh is a girl. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. She wouldn't be the first. She has a beard. <laughs> <clears throat> Josh himself believes he's a girl. That wig is magical. And, okay, so, like, you know, a girl can totally have a beard. Don't get me wrong. But would somebody like Mimi really believe that? Like, like do See, we really believe Mimi is that progressive? <laughs> I think that there's a certain element to this game that it's a little bit like, um, what's it, Riverdale, where Archie is? Like, <laughs> there's a certain amount of, like, it's a naive uh, um, uh, archetype, what hopeful existence place type of thing. Gotcha. Like, there's still problems that happen in a microcosm, but, like, you know, this is when they had the gay characters being introduced they're like yeah there's no homophobia in Riverdale because it's that's, Riverdale yeah that, it's Riverdale <laughs> we don't have shitty people in Riverdale you know like Archie is actually kind of about as shitty as they get <laughs> so yeah. you know there's a couple bullies but they don't do much they're not like um so so, I just want to believe that Asagao is just a very progressive place. <laughs> okay. Well, stay out of the girls' bathroom. It's not exactly going to help your platform if, world get, if word gets around that you're a pervert. Oh, uh, I also wanted to mention I was reading... I don't, I don't know if you told me or if I was reading this, but Asagao actually could have had a boy option to play as a boy. Like, like Hana... Hmm place being taken by a different character who is male, but uh, the Kickstarter didn't reach that tier. So it didn't happen. Oh. And I'm like super disappointed. Like I totally would have donated to this with that knowledge <laughs> if, you... if I had known about it at the time, but I didn't know about it. So Yeah. Uh, a shadow fell That would have been a lot of work. Yeah. But uh, Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I totally understand why it's a different tier, but um, you know, mm. it didn't happen. So a shadow fell over Paul's face. I sighed. Don't worry, I'll talk to Mimi. Go back to the boys' dorm. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Hannah. Yeah, yeah. I watched them scamper away, then headed into the bathroom. <laughs> That's hey. scampering. <laughs> hey, Joshualina. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> you and I. All cannon. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's like one sound. <laughs> it's a very precise sound. <laughs> you and I should probably get going. I rounded the corner and found him doing Mimi's hair. Uh. In a second, Hannah. I've just got to finish this. Hannah, have you met Josh Alina? She is so good with hair. And look, she even got the stain out of this shirt. Mimi held up my uniform. Really? Thank goodness. Thank you so much. 
It's no problem, honey! I guess I'll let you finish. Mimi, you won't tell anybody about Nick and Paul coming into the bathroom, will you? Why wouldn't I? Well, <laughs> as class representatives, they were just trying to help Joshalina get her bearings, and they were showing her where the bathroom was. I should have been the one to show her, but I was asleep, and they didn't want to wake me up. Oh, well, I guess it's fine then. Thank you. I stood staring at them, unsure of what to do next. Do you mind? I need to concentrate to finish this! Oh, I'm sorry. I... It's fine. <laughs> I just get a little angsty when there's delicate procedures on hairs to be done. <laughs> I went back to my room. Life at Asagao never got easier, did it? Mai was still asleep when I got back. There was no way I was going to go back to bed, so I changed into my uniform, grabbed my bag, and went to class early. My plan was to get started on the project Ms. Shizuka gave us. As sincere as PBG was, I wasn't quite sure he'd hold up his end of the bargain. I stepped into the classroom and went to my seat, throwing my bag against my desk. A small snap came from across the room. Shane was at his desk, giving me a look. And I believe we're actually almost caught up to the part where we, uh, we Yeah, I think recording. this is... Yeah. Oi! You mind? I'm trying to get a bit of work done. I don't think that was quite British, <laughs> but we'll take it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh, I'm sorry. I yeah, looked through the door. It was too late to leave, but I didn't want to be stuck by myself with the guy who clearly hated me. Which, by the way, I don't think you ever get to figure out why he hates her unless you get his romance, because it was not explained to me. <laughs> yeah. I sat down at my desk and looked at my hands. This quiet place I could find in the mornings. That was... That was... <clears throat> Try again. Do you have any suggestions on like the British version of Forget About It? Um. Oi! It's Seven Wong! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, you probably don't uh, even know that name. Well, no, it, probably a Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, Quatter. I usually I usually think of Harry Potter, and that kind of helps. I'm not. What's, what's the most like? We can't spend we can't spend five minutes on one line, Brad. <clears throat> yeah, well, no, this is mostly gonna get cut out. Um, bloody brilliant, bloody brilliant, Harry. <laughs> I just get you know what I'm gonna do the Oni British from. Um, are you familiar with Oni? He's an animator from Newgrounds. No. Friends with the Grumps. Um. I. <laughs> Oh, this. Oh, also, oddly going to turn into the uh, Alfred, the uh, the what's it, Batman Alfred, Butler. Well, no, 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 but the um, the the Dark Knight, all that. Oh yeah, Batman. Yeah. That guy. This quietest place I can find in the mornings. That's a little better. Really? Really? Not the library? Shane shook his head. I see. Britishly. Uh, I'll try not to bother you? He shook his head again. You're fine. Do whatever. Bloody that wanker. was completely New York, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. <clears throat> you did. You're, You're fine. fine. <laughs> You're fine. Do whatever. <laughs> what the hell? Sugar is offended this is by not your as British bad accent. as when my... Huh? Sugar is offended by your British accent. It sh you're, should be. You're fine. This is do whatever. A, you're fine. Do whatever. Not like I fucking care. Okay, that but deeper. Uh, you're fine. Do whatever. Close enough. <clears throat> it didn't come out deeper. It came out weird. <laughs> It'd be awkward if I just sat there like that. So, what are you working on? 
Shane looked at me and for a moment I thought he wasn't going to answer. As much as Bradley didn't want him to answer, <laughs> he then waved me over. Is any communicator in British Sign Language? <laughs> ah. I crossed the room to his desk and looked over his shoulder. Several sheets of paper with lightly sketched outlines lay in front of him. It looked like they were for comics? You draw comics? Oh, of course I do. <laughs> why, why are you making his short line longer? <laughs> I don't know. I hate myself. <laughs> What about? He shrugged. Oh, whatever. <laughs> he said it with a touch of finality, so I skipped to another topic. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Shane gave a heavy sigh. <laughs> <laughs> say it, brother, say it! <laughs> oh, no, tell... Bye, my... Accent? <laughs> no. It's clearly very defined. No, no, I can't. <laughs> that last bit was definitely just Mark, Markiplier just freaking out <laughs> voice. <laughs> I'm very defined. <laughs> See, I'm from. <laughs> I am from England. This is my second year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just <Awesome>. gonna <laughs> cycle through accents like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he never speaks the same twice. He continued to draw, etching in the lines of a British flag above what looked like to be a government building. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss it? He finished shading a line before responding. I guess. Oh, believe fine is there. <laughs> You're by yourself? Why did you come here? <sighs> Class will start soon. Don't you have something to work on? That was... That, that went into New York. I, I can't escape it. I think you just need to give up. And just... just. <laughs> just I, you just need to read that's it. That's it. Let's play is done. <laughs> Let's play is over. <laughs> Anyway, this is Eva Guacamole Gaming, and, uh... <coughs> this is Eva Guacamole Gaming. Sugar's like, never Sugar's again. like, no, I want to know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and Sugar needs to learn to read herself. Himself. <laughs> I was going to say, you keep misgendering my dog. It, 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 Sugar sounds like a, a, a girl, like, a name I'm used to people naming My grandma female. named him. What do you want out of me? Uh... <laughs> Ouch. Go to the Pokemon name changer. Yeah. No. Lavender Town. I like Sugar's name. <laughs> Taking the hint, I went back to my desk. Suddenly, the door slammed open. Now you can do a New York <coughs> accent. <laughs> well, hey, look at here. We've got, uh... <clears throat> sorry. Hey! Hey, look! We got here early. Wonderful. Oh, Anna, Shane, it's like just the four of us. We should stir up some trouble. Trouble? You know, sell drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's plant an egg in, in on Miss Shizuka's chair, eh? I bet that, uh, I bet she'd think it was hilarious. I bet she wouldn't. No. <clears throat> Nine. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should do. Just develop a German accent. Shane's German. <laughs> oh, come on. I bet I could find an exploding bird or two to dive bomb us during class. I don't even... I wasn't even trying. I'm just going. <laughs> this... <laughs> Night. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could probably bake her a cake. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Filled with knives. <laughs> and also pins coming out of her mouth because she was doing magic. Wait. Wait. Coco's not even here to discuss this. 
<laughs> really? Uh, what the hell's wrong with you? Shane was more than an ocean away from his friends, his family and friends. I was only two hours away from my dad, yet I missed him so much. Was Shane homesick at all? Soon other students filled the room and Mai joined me at my desk asking why I abandoned her. I filled her in on the situation. She had a good laugh, but as the clock ticked closer to class time, I felt like something was missing. Eventually I realized what it was. PBG wasn't in class yet. Dun dun dun. The bell rang, Miss Shizuka came in, and class began, but still he was nowhere to be found. Where was he? The real problem that causes grinding to be necessary in RPGs is if you ask me, it's the whole system is flawed. Miss Shizuka. Oh, sorry, that's you. <laughs> <clears throat> Miss Shizuka's on a tangent again. She must have gotten stood up. You know. By that game developer. <laughs> <laughs> Class was nearly over and PBG still hadn't shown. I was worried, but no one else seemed to care. Ah! <laughs> uh, that kid always misses class. What a joker! Still, what if he was sick? Why didn't anybody care? At the sound of the bell, Miss Shizuka jumped. <laughs> oh! Uh, well, turn in two-page reflection on why the human species as a whole is an emotional range of a teaspoon due tomorrow. <clears throat> Don't be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she definitely got stood up, I think, by a woman this time. <laughs> um, Miss Shizuka? I stood up and dashed to her desk. Yes, Hana. PBG wasn't in class today, and I can take his notes to him if you need... Oh, Hana, you're a godsend. <laughs> Miss Shizuka's eyes watered. She leaned over her desk and pulled me into a hug. It's wonderful <clears throat> to see all you have hope. Hana. She pulled away and stared into my eyes. Don't give up on love. You're young. If PBG is the one you want, you have my blessing. Here, take these papers. She shoved the handouts from today's class into my hands and gathered her things. Bless your heart. <laughs> so I should have given her a Texas accent because that was a very Texas thing to say. <laughs> um. Uh, also, clearly this is one of those situations where the teacher is shipping the students. <laughs> Which they do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she left the room crying. <laughs> Poor thing. Must have really liked this one. Maya's just so Definitely invested. was a woman. Does this happen <laughs> often? Uh, daily? <laughs> often enough. So, you're taking that to the PBG. Yeah, but now that I think about it, I don't know his room number. It's 402. Ow. It's uh, next to Jared's room, so of course I'd notice him leaving in the mornings. Ah. I've got tryouts, so I won't be able to go with you. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll be super happy to see you. I told you, I don't think he feels that way. Before I could Winking say... Winking <laughs> and lesbian. Before I could say anything more, she left the room. Huh. This is a long episode. May even actually just splitty split it up. Who knows? Uh, that's, that's, that's editor Brad's problem.